Welcome back guys, it is officially harvest time. So we are gonna get the two green machines out, well green, and then the bush machine out. And we're gonna start cutting soybeans, and then eventually we're gonna go on to corn. But, kind of something sad happened actually. One of our good neighbor buddies, Jake, his grandpa passed away. And so he's gonna be short help and short equipment. So, we're gonna all meet down at Applebee's and kind of just get a game plan together, but I think we're gonna end up helping him out today because I don't even know if he has a combine. So we're gonna get our two combines and then a truck and then we're gonna get a couple other people rounded up and try and get all of his crops out today. But the corn is ready to harvest. We have yield potential 100%. So not bad, but expected yields 90%. So we may lose a little bit of yield, but I think it's gonna be a good crop this year. Currently we have negative $133,000 and that is because some of our land is rented and every month there's a land payment due. But we'll make it up because we got some high price commodities we're gonna take out. That's just the farm in life. When you look at your balance sheet, everybody says you're crazy rich. But then when you look at your bank account, there's nothing there. Hey, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. How about you? Good. You hear about Jake's uh, grandpa passed? Yep, I did. The Case IH dealer did too. They're offering, they're giving him a Case IH combine to run for a little bit. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. We were thinking about taking the combines out there too. Have you talked to him? Uh, yep. Actually, I'm bringing my uh, John Deere 770 out there too to help out with the corn harvest. Okay. Because there's a lot of acres got to be cut. We should, yeah. I mean, if we're running like three or four combines, we should be able to get it done pretty quick. Oh, it should be a piece of cake. Hey, Cake, how you doing? Hey, boys. I don't think the semi fits in Tim Hortons here, bud. Yeah, it's it all good. It would have fit if I had the grain cart, but yeah, I know. Yeah, I see that. That's um, that's an interesting little situation you got going on here, bud. Well, I had to pick it up. Did feel like bringing the tractor, and it tows it fine. Yeah, okay. What do you guys want? Mm. I'm buying, even though I'm in debt over hungry. Well... It might help if we go it through with it with like it's called a drive through, not a walk through. Hold on, if Unless we all jump, if we all jump like they did in Toy Story, we'll activate it. You ready? One, two, three, jump. How may I help you? Nice. See? Jake, sorry to hear about your grandpa. Gosh, yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. It's been pretty busy trying to keep things afloat, but you're gonna need help with harvest, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're it's time to harvest, and I'm I came down here to town to get a part for the old combine that I bought from that place. That we went to the other day and uh so once i get that going maybe i'll be able to get in the field well you know the case the h dealer would give you a combine if you need to use one so it would help this, probably uh, i mean it'd probably help all right the case the h dealer will be over there with one shortly and i've got two uh it. i've got two combines ready to go for a day to help you out too and then i got all my right, okay. 770 over there so we should be at so all four have, of us should have a different combine yeah four combines but case dealers throwing in a combine what do you got our inventory is pinched right now. We weren't going to be able to get anything out. The only thing I can technically offer is if I bring my international load star that has the grain bed in the back. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> firm handshake right there. There you go. Yeah, appreciate you. But I do got one question for you, Jake. What's, okay. the, what's the leasing opportunities with that land now? Oh, gosh. I got a question Nate, for Nate, you. That is way <laughs> too on. early. Nate, Hang on. I got, a, here, I, got a, I got a really I got a really important question for you. Why is it that if you work at a John, at a case deal, you got a deer hat on? <laughs> who's who's going to tell him? Hmm. I, I, I run hmm. mostly deer on my own farm. That is deer. suspicious. <laughs> okay, so we got her all situated out. I think we're going to have four combines there, at least two semi-trucks, maybe one grain cart, and we should be good. It's actually, actually, never mind. We don't even need the semis. I forgot. It's going into the bins. Okay, so we're going to get the combines fired up. I'm going to put on the corn head on this combine, and then on the other combine, we're going to get set, set for beans. So we'll have two combines run, one on corn, one on beans. Okay, we've got the bean header attached behind the combine. Now, I should be pulling it with the other one, but that one doesn't have a hitch on the rear. So I'm hauling both the corn head and the bean head, and then we'll come back for that combine. So here's one of Jake's cornfields. He's only got one cornfield, and then he's got like two bean fields that we gotta knock out here. So we'll probably get started on corn and then move to beans. Okay, combine's here. Jake's getting started, it looks like, and I'm gonna go back and get the other combine. Anybody got the ears on out there? Yep, just and cruising boy. down gravel. Boys, I'm just getting the heaven pass done on my soybean field here, and y'all are welcome to start wherever you wanna start. 
Nate, do we want to have um, your 9770 and my 9770 start on corn? And I got another 9770 that can start on beans. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. I mean, I was going to jump. I'm going to do the case I was going to jump in the case I for a little bit. Or we can let Jay crash run the case I switch out his combine. I'm enjoying a little new haul. I've got to give her a try here for a minute or two. Well, it lasted longer than Grant in the 80s with that thing. Hit a washout, smoked the front tire, and that thing was a goner. But, check out this 9770, he has 3,800 hours on it. I don't even think that new hole in is 3,800 hours. That is a lot of hours, man. We are cutting beans with a 45 foot head. The only issue is our auger is kind of small, so it's a, it's a tight fit when I'm loading. But, she's cutting good. And Jake, these are some good yielding beans too. Gosh dang. They are. You know, I got a good story about Fred, Jake's grandpa. You guys, you guys hear me on CB, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see, I was just in, uh, in college on an internship over the summer and Jake's Jake I think you're you might not have been born yet maybe you're born I can't remember but I was just on an internship in college working for the co-op over there Jake's grandpa Fred he had a internship guy that was a helper on the farm anyways they were hauling grain in the summer and came into the elevator and uh <laughs> the guy pulls over the scales and he didn't have any grain in the in the truck the grain truck anyways we see the cops come in about two minutes later pull in and uh, he left the grain door open on the grain truck and all of it just splattered across the road and the guy didn't even realize it until he pulled across the scale anyways old fred uh, i think had a big uh, i don't know if it's illegal but he had probably shoved his boot uh somewhere where it probably doesn't belong on that dude and fired him i would guess but uh fred i've never seen him that angry till that day well i suppose spilling an entire load of grain on the highway i'll do it to that you know, i'll do it to a person Buck, how's that new A&R? Pretty smooth right now. I haven't had too many problems with it. I know one thing about Fred, he was always a cash guy. <gasps> Everything he bought oh, was with cash. Oh, he would never oh, even oh. look at an A&R. Not to say he didn't have the cash for it, but it was just, uh, this old equipment. She just, she keeps on trucking and she's cheap and paid for. Hey, we got the rental man Buck unloading us. Should be our final pass uh, and then we'll be uh, on the corner. you're taking out my tire. My bad. Ah, ah, ah. Achoo. Bless you. Okay, so we are done with beans. Now we're gonna get all four combines run on corn, and we're gonna try and knock this out in the next hour. Okay, so we are gonna have four combines going to help out Jake. Jake's run one, we got Jimmy run one, we got Nate run one, I'm run one, and Buck's run a grain cart. He's gotta keep up with four 12 row corn heads. It's gonna be tough. And we're dumping into Rental Man Buck. Okay, we are done with that small patch, and we're on to the big patch over here. Bucks are on grain cart, and we will have four combines fin finishing this up. I think we got like, I don't know, three passes each, I guess. Something like that. We got Jimmy rolling, Nate rolling, Jake rolling. Everybody's rolling. That's Jake, we are going to time this perfect. You ready? Are we? Oh, hi. Yes, we are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. We are dumping in the grain cart. Harvest is done at Jake's place. Had a nice corn yield and had a nice bean yield. In memory for Fred. And now we have Fred's funeral coming up. We gotta go do. There we go. We got a dress coat, maybe a nice pair of jeans. And the celebration of life for Fred is off. Pickle leading the way, Nate, and then Buck. Well, we got the funeral done with, celebration of life for Fred, and uh, it was good, it was good. I learned a lot about Fred that we didn't know. Pretty crazy stories behind him. But uh, anyways, we're gonna go grab the farm equipment, head back, and it was an awesome day. Glad we could help out Jake, get all the crops out, everything like that, worked out great, and then we had a uh, celebration of life. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hey, we'll see you in the next one.